captain of any country. This is particularly so now, given the global competitiveness, uh, rapid advancement in technology, and sustained demands for high productivity and performance. It is in this regard that government has reprioritized education, skills development, as well as science, technology, and innovation. Government is reviewing the policies on education, science and technology, as well as the technical education, vocational and entrepreneurship training, in order to make them more relevant to the current and the future needs of our country. The Minister responsible for education must ensure that the process is concluded by June 2016, and this he will certainly do. Mr. Speaker, mathematics and science lie at the core of innovation. Our future competitive advantage and progress uh, in recognition of the importance of math mathematics and science government is training 2,700 teachers who are undergoing fast track continuous professional development in mathematics and science at various universities. This will help reduce the acute shortage of suitably qualified teachers of mathematics and science in our secondary schools. This investment in training must go hand in hand with a deliberate policy to equip all our schools with information communication technology facilities. Our children must be computer literate. Mr. Speaker, further to deepen our children's interest in mathematics and science, the minister responsible for education has been directed to revamp and strengthen the junior engineers, uh, technicians, and scientists, popularly known as jet clubs in secondary schools. This should be followed by an effective tracking system of those budding scientists as they progress in their education and strong career guidance program. A deliberate effort must also be made to award scholarships to deserving students with a strong learning in mathematics and science. Mr. Speaker, I have approved an initiative for transforming the education sector through e-learning by using an innovative education tablet called the Z EduPad, developed by the late Mr. Mark Bennett in consultation with the Ministry of Education. The Z Pad tablet is preloaded with lessons, learning materials, and extension agriculture and health information. I expect that by 2017, 50% of our children in schools will have access to the Z Pad and put us on a path of smart education. I therefore call upon the ministers responsible for education and industry in the conjunction with the Industrial Development Corporation to initiate a program of locally manufacturing affordable tablets. Mr. Speaker, our renewed interest in mathematics and science also called for a review and resuscitation of the people of the National Technology Business Center in nurturing and commercializing local innovation and inventions. The Patents and Company Registration Agency should also take a lead in building linkages with our learning, research, and development centers to make sure that all local inventions and innovations are duly patented. In addition, the Zambia Chamber of Commerce and Industry must take keen interest in linking the Zambian pool of inventors and innovators with both local and foreign investors and business people. Mr. Speaker, Government also remains committed to empowering the Zambian people with lifelong and survival skills by constructing at least one trades training institute in each district. Over the years, most of our traders, our trade training institutes have abandoned their original mandates and focused on business courses. This has deprived the country of critical artisan skills required to drive the industries. Yeah. 